If you're looking to learn to fly, you'll want to get your hands on a Technum Twin P2006T. The Technum Twin P2006T has established itself as the spacecraft of choice for private owners and the world's most prestigious flight instruction company. The retractable landing gear is one of the many remarkable characteristics of the new Technum Twin P2006T. So in today's video, we'll take a look inside the new Technum P2006T, the lightest twin aircraft four-seater plane. Why is it very light even though it has a double engine? However, before we get started, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this and hit the bell symbol to get notified of our latest videos. And don't forget to thumbs up this video. Two Rotax 912 S3 engines power the Technum Twin P2006T, a high-wing all-metal FAA Part 23 certified plane. Italy's Capua-based Costruzioni Aeronautica Technum is the manufacturer of the plane. Capua is a town founded around 600 BC, less than 14 nautical miles north of the historic city of Naples, and about two hours south of Rome. And similar to Capua's long history in human history, Technum's story began quite early in aviation history. Professor Luigi Pascal, Technum's president and chief airplane designer, started designing planes with his brother Giovanni in 1948 and is affectionately known as Il Professor among Technum personnel. The company has been a true family business over the years. Giovanni passed away several years ago, but his son, Paolo, is now the managing director of Technum. Technum is well known for its double engine airplanes that are incredibly light. Technum Twin P2006T is the most lightweight twin engine civil aircraft in its class, thanks to its two Rotax 912 engines. The combination of the relatively low cost of small single-engine aircraft and the high level of functionality of twin-engine aircraft makes it extremely interesting to learn about. The primary selling point of these planes was that they provided the added security of having a second engine. The combination of a twin's often higher speeds, better cargo capacity, and larger cabin were also key draws for these Technum twins. In order to be successful, the airplane needed to achieve an excellent power-to-weight ratio. With a total of 200 horsepower between two engines, the airplane had to be light, and there is no doubt that Technum was effective and successful in that sense. In fact, the maximum takeoff weight for the P2006T is only 2,601 pounds, well over 1,000 pounds less than its closest competitors. Several design elements contributed to the plane's reduced weight. The landing gear is mounted to the fuselage rather than the wings, allowing the wing structure to be lighter. However, the choice of engines is what truly distinguishes the Technum Twin. The Rotax 912 S3 engines are at least 25 pounds lighter than other compact piston engines, weighing only 160 pounds each, including lubricants and coolants. The tiny size of the Rotax engines allows for smaller engine cowls, which reduces both weight and drag. The Rotax option doesn't require a huge fuel capacity because the total fuel use is about 10 gallons per hour, giving it a weight advantage. Each fuel tank positioned in the wings outboard of the engines can hold nearly 26 gallons of fuel. That gives a total fuel capacity of over 51 gallons, which is around half that of other light twins, which makes sense given the fuel burn. We'll go into the engines later. According to Technum, the P2006T has a 140,000 hour life limit on the airframe, which is a considerable advantage for high use contexts, such as flight schools where the aircraft is frequently flown. With only 51 gallons of fuel capacity, the airplane's payload is only 478 pounds, which might not seem like much, although it has a useful load of 784 pounds. But because the total fuel burn for both engines is only 10 gallons, you could fly a family of four with two young children and gear for about two and a half hours. Aerial surveying and flight instruction both possible with the weight capacity. You might want to grab your credit card and buy one of these right now. Moving on, the baggage compartment can hold a maximum of 176 pounds and may be reached by folding forward one of the rear seats because there are just two seats in the aft cabin rather than the customary four in a multi-engine jet. The passenger area is smaller, but legroom is ample for those not flying. 
With a cabin width of 48 inches, there is plenty of room for both legs and elbows in the pilot seat. A big entrance on the pilot side makes it easy for passengers to enter and exit, and the additional door in the back provides a significant safety benefit for those in the back. Push rods are used to control the aileron and elevator, with internal cabin cables connecting the rods to the controls. Similar mechanisms control the stabilizer as well. A typical element in jets, but a rarity in light twins, is the trailing link gear, which contributes to a smooth landing. An electrically operated, reversible pump powers the landing gear's electrohydraulic system. During retraction, the main gear rotates 90 degrees in board. The gear struts are placed in unusual looking side pods that could be mistaken for steps when rotating the wheel. The pods provide the gear with a wider stance for better ground stability. Push rods connected to the rudder pedals steer the nose wheel, making the plane relatively easy to direct on the ground. To dispel the myth of two engines are automatically more expensive, the Italian Rotax powered twin, born of light sports technology, challenges the fuel and maintenance efficiency of the single engine Cessna 182, and even the 172 Skyhawk. Despite its roomy interior, the Technum twins are a big part of its lightweight since most of the company's LSA and ultralight aircraft are powered by Rotax engines. Technum decided to stick with them. The Technum's twin 100 horsepower 912 S3 engines are derived from the 80 horsepower 912, which has been on the market for over 25 years. While the 912 S3's engine is rated at 100 horsepower, it really produces 98.6 horsepower for five minutes and 92.5 horsepower during a cruise. Aside from being light, the four-cylinder, four-stroke Rotax engine has the advantage of being able to run on Avgas, Mogas, or even ethanol-based gasoline, which is very useful in international contexts where 100LL is unavailable. The Rotax favors auto fuel since it is less expensive. If you burn 100LL, the engine only needs an oil change every 50 hours and a gearbox inspection every 800 hours. These intervals are reduced to 25 and 600 hours, respectively. The engine spark is provided via electronic ignition, which eliminates the need for timing changes. That makes flying almost as easy as breathing, don't you think? More so, if you think that the Technum Twin P2006T is underpowered and frail for a four-seater, considering that the average standard condition climb rate is 1,140 feet per minute, you're mistaken. If you turn off one of the engines, you'll still get 212 feet per minute, which is comparable to most other light twins. The small engine can spin up to 5,800 RPM, but a gearbox reduces the rate of rotation of the constant speed, MT propeller, to nearly 2,400 RPM, making the engine more efficient and quieter. The engine creates a lot of heat due to the high RPM. Although it is liquid-cooled, water-cooled heads reduce potential shock cooling concerns and enable shorter fins to cool the cylinders, allowing for much smaller barrels. As a result, the engine cowl can be substantially smaller, resulting in reduced drag. Reduced wear and repair costs are achieved due to the smaller size's tighter tolerances. The cost of a standard Rotax overhaul is roughly $15,000. The Rotax had a reputation for having a low TBO, but thanks to its proven reliability, the TBO for the 912 series has been increased from 1,500 to 2,000 hours. Elevated engine mounts help prevent prop strikes during gear up landings, while the high wing design keeps the cabin cool. The cockpit's stillness, as well as the simplicity with which it starts up, is both surprising and delightful. The twin's insulation and the quiet engines are to thank for the peaceful ride. More than 600 P2006T aircraft were delivered in 2021. A few planned upgrades could make the P2006T a real winner in a variety of other applications, despite the plane's current limitations in seating capacity, useful load, and speed. Gross weight will soon reach 2,710 pounds, and the empty target weight for a standard-equipped airplane is 1,223 pounds, according to industry estimates. The Technum would be able to carry close to 1,000 pounds with this weight change. As you are probably aware, fewer than 10 twin-engine models are currently in production, with some of them being built in very small numbers. But there's no denying that the Technum Twin P2006T is a top-notch model. 
That's all for now. In the comments section below, we would love to know your thoughts on the Italian Rotax powered twin, Technum P2006 T. Like always, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more updates and new content. See you soon.